Welcome to a Realm Total War Remastered mod, and today I wanted to briefly show off the new Darth mod port. Uh, all the factions are the same, units the same, balance the same, but the massive Darth mod campaign map, as you can partly see there, has been ported over to the remaster. Now this was not made by Darth himself, this was made by someone else porting it just to clarify. So if you like Rome Total War, the original gameplay, but you're feeling a little tired of the old classical map, this here is probably the mod for you. And here we are loading in. This is so much larger. And of course, uh, different textures too, so if you're not a fan of uh, the remaster's graphics, you might prefer this. It also comes with several sub-mods for it, I believe, and and there may be plans to port the full Darth mod over. I'm not too sure what the overall strategy is, but just look at Sicily here. This is more like it, yeah. Ah, oh, that's a big Sicily. So if you like big maps, a lot of cities, but also a lot of room, then you're gonna like this. Like look at Greece over here and it's also an open resource as well for modders so if there's any modders out there who want a big Europe map then I believe you're like free to use this one so we could be seeing a lot of mods in future based off this map here let's let's zoom out as far as we can go yeah on, onto the strategy scene overall so yeah it does expand I think a little bit further east uh, a bit more north, but it's more just adding the details in here. Let's take a look at Carthage. That's massive there. Corsica itself is probably the size of Sicily in vanilla. I like that. Then you got Palma looking pretty big. Then you got Spain. Just massive there. Now let's scroll up north. That's a lot of trees. I like it. We got Britain here. Wales looking a little, a little weird, but yeah, and the Isle of Man a little too large, but the rest of it looks okay. Then it's got bits of Norway, bits of Sweden, yeah, and of course a bit of Finland and Northern Russia, which does look quite good. Over here we've got the Caspian Sea. Uh, Interesting trade route here. Yeah, I'm wondering where he is going to go. Big Caspian Sea there. I'm curious about this. Is he... I think he's going to disappear into the land. Yeah, it's not fully done yet. Expect some bugs here and there. But you know what? I thought a decent amount of work has been put into this mod. I thought I might as well show it off. Give credit to the modder. Give it some support, you know, and all of that. So what's going to happen? Oh, hey, it's gone. <laughs> and then over here, an absolutely massive Egypt. Look at the swamp lands here. I like it. Yeah, then we've got Arabia here, going into the Seleucid Empire. Very mountainous terrain. And yeah, that's really all there is to show off in this mod spotlight video. It doesn't do much new stuff. It's more just the original. The original gameplay but on a much bigger map and I thought you know there's some people who are going to love this so yeah I thought I'd give it a shout out here you go the Darth mod part or the map of it anyway there's also a second mod I want to show off today uh, a blood and gore mod so for people who wanted a blood and gore DLC well you now have it but it's free and as a mod I've got that running too so Let's give it a go, let's see how it is. By the way, this is a much bigger suggester here. Lugatorix, rest in peace. And I believe, is it a slightly different settlement design? Is it slightly bigger? I think it might be, I don't know. Maybe Darth Mod redesigned the settlements. I've never really played Darth Mod on Rome. I don't, I'm not a fan of bigger maps, but yeah, that's just my preference, okay. Bring in the Hastati, and I want to see some blood and gore. I want to see how this looks. 
Uh, this mod will also be linked down below in the description. Yeah, and I want to do videos like this once every two or three months. Basically, mods out there that I think a niche community might enjoy, and I want to show them off. Give them a bit of a shout out and some credit, alright? So let's see. Are we going to see much blood? I don't think it's on every unit. The AI is playing really annoyingly. Get away from my calf. Alright, there we go. I saw some blood splatter. There we go. There's some blood there. Alright, I don't know what the AI is doing here. Weird. Alright, here we go. Zooming into my calf. We've got a blooded up horse here. And another one. So there's some blood on the troops. It's not an over the top blood mod. That makes it look like Troy. It's just a bit of splatter. There you go. And a bit of blood on the remaining bodies. Which, if you're more of a historical type of person, I think you would prefer. There we go. Some good blood shots there. Oh, beautiful. Doesn't it just make you hungry? Right, some arrow shots coming in now. Now, our troops are very armoured, so there's not much death or blood splatter there. Uh, let's move a little further forwards. I want to see how much damage the peeler can do. Yeah, and then we can charge in. Alright, here we go. Throw in that peeler. There we go. We've got a bit of blood there. Alright, just charge into the battle as normal now, I think. Alright, go on. Get the cavalry in there. Ride through them. And we should hopefully see some blood splatter on the way. Personally, I think I would prefer a little bit more blood, but, oh well, the mod has gone with a much more toned down historical feel. Uh, so yeah, blood graphics mod here if anyone is interested. Uh, this mod does work for a lot of other mods out there too, so I think it works for chivalry mod. I haven't tested it on Total Conquest, but yeah, if you would like Gudea's medieval chivalry mod, but you want a little bit more history, a bit more blood and gore, then I think it works on that too, which is good. Oh, our general, covered in blood, got thrown off his horse. Ah, oh, rest in peace. Well, there you go, some interesting little mods there. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, share with anyone you think may be interested, but for now, until the next one, Melgon.